What is their impression of us at the moment as a country? God, a question. <laughs> I didn't ask them all. <laughs> There's 250 million of them. What sort of things did they ask you? I mean, did, did they seem to know uh, uh, what England and Britain is like at the moment, or did they seem uh, you went right round them? No, they asked things that, uh, you know, people in this medium, as you know, are very parochial. And they were more concerned with uh, what was happening there than what was happening here. The sort of things the press asked, which I couldn't answer, was, uh, or didn't answer, was why are we trading with uh, North Vietnam, why are we trading with Cuba, um, what are my views about Rhodesia and things of that kind. But uh, they, they didn't, you were there most of the time, they didn't actually no. ask anything about what was happening in this country. On the whole, how did you get on with the American press and television? Did you well. find the pressure of publicity a nuisance? Well, that's two rather uh, contra contradictory questions. I got on extremely well with the press. I normally do, I think. <laughs> but there are certain things uh, occasionally which uh, they do, which uh, perhaps I don't like very much. I think the business of constantly, for instance, which happens in a great many places, is this business of over overhearing conversations. I mean. In a way, if you're presented with all these things and all those things, you, you know more or less that if you're going to say something, it's going to be taken down. But if you're having a conversation and, and somebody pokes one of these at you with a tape recorder behind or one of those long listening devices which they can overhear a conversation 20 yards away, you, you get a bit anxious. This is what you were specifically objecting Well, I don't know what, you, what this is about. Well, there was a, a quote I, I just which appeared to on, them on principle. There was know. a quote, I think, which appeared on television that you uh, you suggested to a chap with one of these things how he might dispose of it. Well, in private <laughs> I, <coughs> I I'm glad that he took it down. It, I hope he did it. Uh, <laughs> it seems to me one of the hazards if you're going to stick one of these things in, to somebody who is unprepared, you must be prepared for all sorts of things. 